Uh, Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome. It is a big day here in the Dealer Cup Racing Series. We are live from the Okefenokee Swamp in Florida, just on the border of the, uh, I'm going to say Florida Georgia line, but that doesn't make any sort of promise that they're going to be here. So, you know, it's all good. We're both here. We are here. It is the Diddler Cup Racing Series. It is 300 miles of failure piles today from the Crocodile Mile, a one mile dirt track oval here in the Okefenokee Swamp in Florida. My name is Chip Chapman. I'm joined, as always, by the two men who are in the studio with me, in the commentary booth with me this time. To my right is Lightning Lloyd Shivers. It's good to be here, as always. We got ourselves a elimination race. That's yeah, right. we do. Four drivers are going to be knocked out of contention. They're going to have to go home, but they can't go home because they got to keep racing, just not for championships or for any extra salary. It comes a neck cutting time here. We Look. shoveled all the dirt, all the mud, all of the mystery sludge yep. out of this track for such a fine race today. They, they, they don't have to go home, but they can't stay here because there's other races that have to happen on this track. That's why they can't stay here. And to my left, he is now, uh, I'm going to, he is, he is our new aluminum chef here in the Diddler Cup Racing Series after a fine job serving up brisket for the Charlotte Hornets, Mr. Beaumont Jenkins. Well, I got to say there, if, if I'm aluminum chef, I got, I saw other people there who are other aluminum chefs around the area. They all got their aluminum chef hats on there. They were telling me how about how horse paste and horse copies will get you, will cure you from COVID. Yep. I, I'm just happy to be back here. I mean, I got paid pretty nicely. They paid me an, a, a new thrifto currency called Exposure Coin. I yeah. think it's called XPO Coin. Oh, that's how you trade it. Yeah, yeah it's like that, that, they, that. They that, gave me a yeah, free XPO. hat. They gave me a free hat, and they said oh. that. They, they, they said it's customary to point your hat in the direction of the sun. Yeah. So that way, if you ever get lost with Guy Fieri, you know where to go. That's fair. That's good. That's, that's a that, that's, hat, man. It's a great hat. Nice yeah. hat there. That's fantastic. Freshly bleached. Absolutely. Well, we are going racing today on a dirt track oval. Don't have some dirt racing too often here in the Diddler Cup, but we are going wide open on the Crocodile Mile. It is a thin and narrow racetrack, it is 120 laps, 120 miles. It's a one-mile dirt track oval. Pit windows, a little shorter today, 34 to 38. Why is that? Because, as you're going to find out, the gas tanks, the fuel tanks, are partially full of mud. We decided we wanted to put mud in everybody's tank. And, of course, cautions are on because it's a dirt track. Crazy things happen when we go dirt racing. going to be a lot of... A lot of a lot of dust, a lot of dirt, a lot of sludge, a lot of... It's like a Gallagher show for the first couple of rows here in this place. We all got our ponchos on. We got our poncho vias. And uh, we got our race ready to happen. We are at the Crocodile Mile. That is our race info brought to you by Gumboos. The only chewing gum with a full day's worth of drinking compounded into one easy chewable stick. Gumboos. Tasty alcoholism. And, of course, we have our keys to the race brought to you by DiscountCondoms.com. For when you need a lot of them, you just don't need them to work too well, go to DiscountCondoms.com. The keys to the race here at the Crocodile Mile. Lord, you want to you wanna take these? I got the keys to the race right here, but I, yep. I had to leave them at the door. So find no your worries. chance to pass. Yeah, ain't going to be a lot of chances. You, you got... Here's mud in your eye. They put it in quotation marks or, or asterisk here mm -hmm. uh, to let you know that there's going to be mud in your eye. And, that, and that's just that's just the way dirt track racing, that's just the way racing ought to be. Yeah. And remember, we have more fuel stops because we fuel the tanks, not just with high-quality octane beepers who are not paying for this segment, but also we fill the tanks with mud, which is not to be confused with the we put a bat in everybody's car 300. This exactly. is not yet... The we fill the tanks with mud at three hundred. No, it's just it's, time, just it's just a bonus. By the, way, by the way, last time I got mud in my eye was the reason why I buy stuff from discount condoms. Fair enough. That's a good point. That that's always a good that's always good that's a good lesson to give to anybody out there. And of course, uh, we why we fill the tank uh, when uh, when the the, the Diddler Cup Commission, uh, of course, uh, uh, put out the the recommendation that the tanks be filled with mud. Uh, the, their their reasoning for that was safety. 
That's all they said. I think it's bullshit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. And then we have our Dongarex poll award. Our Dongarex Inject a Pen poll award winner today. The poll sitter is, well, yeah, it's the I'm man in the dong. It. it is the man on the Dongarex driving the Dongarex Inject a Pen, Pen 15 car. It is Ken Boner Pillman. Throbbing forehead. Yeah, his giant forehead. That number 15 car, his second career poll, his first of the season, and he is a playoff driver. So he is going to be trying to make as much as he can out of that pole position, Kevin Boner Pillman. That is the Donga Rex Injector Pen Pole Award, the only erectile dysfunction uh, treatment that is an EpiPen for your junk. You know, after you get the bleeding to stop, you get a good 12 to 15 minutes of loving. That's the Donga Rex Injector Pen Pole Award. Goes to Kevin Boner Pillman today. He is sitting on the front row, and we see that is Richard Blood on the front row alongside him. We can see that right there. So that's two playoff drivers getting ready to bring us to the green flag in just a few moments. But let's take a look at what happened our last race. It was Guys American Bar and Grand Prix. We closed the dang interstate for it, y'all. We closed the dang interstate to drive 32 stock cars all around South Tucson, Arizona. Ain't that beautiful? And Beaumont Jenkins was in the kitchen. It was Beaumont Jenkins from downtown. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice did that. It was kind of weird. Petrovich. But... Yep. Look, look, Petrovich. Look on here. Petrovich. Petrovich. There we go. Oh, that was that, that was, was part of the part of the excitement. And of course, the winner last week was Giacomo Giacomo in the number four Kiss War Machine. He advances to round two in this race, in this goddamn auto race. He named it. And there's our driver standings. There we're seeing how they go. Bucket Dushan, Jeff Tanaka. Of course, we got Giacomo, Giacomo, and Jeff Tanaka are already through as they have won a race here in this round. Our driver standings looking pretty dang good. That is our playoff. Guys like Hans Vaspilver, Paul Alcohol, Paul Walker, Kevin Boner, Pillman, our pole sitter, all need to have a good finish today. We're going to keep you updated as they go because, again, our top 16 are our playoff drivers, and that field is going to be whittled down to just 12 at the end of today. And that is going to be quite the uh, quite the auto, uh, that goddamn auto race. I can't even talk quite right now. It's just going to be that exciting. But it is getting to be close to that time, boys. We got... 16 drivers, 12 are going to make it out of here. I was going to say make it out of here alive. It ain't, it ain't that. Well, we, we hope more of them make it out of here alive. We don't want no. Yeah, we don't want we, nothing we to. We don't want to repeat the last time. No, no, yeah, that, 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 that's less said of that, the better. Yeah, um, that's just a freak accident. Man. Yeah, no, no. Race, yeah, yeah, accidents happen. It's a terrible, it's, it's, it's a terrible tragedy and all that good stuff. But we are looking at. Currently in the bottom position, Paul Alcohol, Hans Vaspulver, Joe John Winchester, and Jeff Gordon the Horse. You heard me right. The defending champion from 2018 season, Joe John Winchester, on the verge of elimination. Not too far off in ninth place right now. Petrol top off 10th, Jeff Shanice. 11th, Kevin Boner Pillman. 12th, Paul Walker. Those are names we're going to keep an eye on as we go through the race. We're going to give you updated, updated stats and updated playoff position to see. Who among them will make it through? Only two Man, are certain. Awesome. Jeff Tanaka and Giacomo Giacomo are the only two who have guaranteed a spot. Bucky Dushan is pretty high up there. You'd probably say he's probably safe with how much points he's ahead of, uh, uh, above the, the drop zone, as it were. But uh, as it goes further down, it's going to get a little dice here. We're going to see how things shake up. But we are getting ready to go to our goddamn auto race. I think it is time to go ahead and get to our Official race prayer. I think we uh, we have it going right now. We go to Pastor Oswalt of the Feast of the Hillock of Glop Church to give our pre-race prayer. Hey, mate, what do you do when you? I'm so I'm so hungry. What's good to eat here at the Kentucky Fried Chicken, man? What's uh, what do you have on the menu that's good? Oh, um, yeah! our mashed potatoes are yeah! All right, I'll say that right now. And, uh, oh, our corn is really sweet and crunchy. That's really great. And, oh, we have these, um, 
Chicken like fried or chicken fried? Or Go big on the bad like those. And oh, good. Chicken fried. The mashed potatoes. You got to get the gravy. It's so tasty. It's really good. Okay, stop right there. Um, can you pile all of those items into a uh, single bowl? Just kind of make them into a, a wet mound of starch that I can eat with a spoon like I'm a death row prisoner on suicide watch. Can I just have that instead? Um, yes, we can do that. Um, we can also arrange those on a plate like you're an adult with dignity and self-respect. You don't have to actually eat your food out of a single bowl. Fuck that, I'm done. I don't give a shit. Just pile all those things in a bowl. Is there a way that the bowl can play this Mortal Coils It'll End in Tears album while I'm eating it at 2 in the morning in my darkened apartment just kind of staring into the middle distance? KFC's Famous Bowls, that's their top-selling item. Can't keep them up. America has spoken. Pile my food in a fucking bowl. I don't give a shit. They didn't make a fuck hit. I'll have it all in one fucking... I just want kind of a light brown hillock of glop. If you could put my lunch in a blender and liquefy it and then put it into a caulking gun and inject it right into my femoral artery, even better. But until you invent a lunch gun, I would like a failure pile in a sadness bowl. Is that is what I want. Give me pile my food. America, eat my lunch from a single bowl in my parents' basement where I'm living. Happy birthday, I'm 43. That's how I want my lunch. Right, this is I don't want to waste Dumb those ass. precious calories chewing. Carry, carry to the concession stand. Go, Gators! Somebody move my jaw for me. Go, Gators! <laughs> Jesus, come no, no. work my jaw I don't know what and help is. my sloppy pile of like food go down. God, that is that is uh, that is one heck of a prayer. That guy was on a roll. I just didn't want to. I didn't want to stop him, Pastor Oswald. Yeah, you can't. You can't stop the Jesus. I, I'll no, tell you, you can't. Florida weird, man. Well, as you know, this race tends to uh, align up with uh, with Crockfest, with Crockfest here down in the Okefenokee Swamp, and of course, the Grand Marshal this year, Crockfest 2021, is Graham Johncock. We're gonna go ahead and uh, give him the honor. Of starting this race up. Hey mate, what do you do when you're surrounded by crocodiles? Run, you slide, you hit the bump and take a shot. It's Super Crocodile Mile with a high speed air cushion bodyboard and super drencher spray. But watch out for the crocs. You run, you slide, you hit the bump and take a shot. Super Crocodile Mile with air cushion bodyboard and super drencher spray. This fell sounds like the Outback State House filler. <laughs> Ew, hold the Kogan. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's uh. I think that's time to get things going. I think I think that's uh well man, that's I don't quite understand what they're what they're all on about, but uh but hey, cool. You know, that's 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 always good to see. And uh yeah, well that is uh let's go ahead and get to our starting grid as they're getting those mighty machines. 
Oh, start it up on our front row. It is our pole sitter, Kevin Boner Pillman, in the number 15 Donga Rex Injector Pen Chevy and Richard Blood in the 51 Box of Wine Chevy. Dick Blood! On row two, it is Jean Paul Henri in the number 40 Ludger Beer Bomb Chevy and Jeff Tanaka in the number 88 Jeff Y.E. Toyota Yaris. Horse beer inside of a uh, pro- theft protection. On row three, it is Paul Walker in the double zero, Nihilist Arbus Ford, and Reverend Pastor Chavez in the number 33. Yes, convenience stores, Toyota Yaris. Yes, it can have the mate mountain. It is a pair of Iron Jeffs on row four, Iron Jeff Shanice in the Jeffs Chinese Toyota number 38 car, and Jeff Gordon the horse. Tomorrow, sweet and sour chicken. And on row five, it is El Matador Toro Rosanna in the number 75 Air Supply Pontiac and Bucky Dushine in that Taco Baco number 55 Ford car. Punch morning in the face! And on row six, it is Joe John Winchester in the Just Guns number 47 Ford and Bowie Jessup in the number nine Gumbo Chevy. Could probably update my LinkedIn profile picture uh. with a different face. On row seven, it is Hans Weisspulver in that Slapmart 99 car, that Chevy, and Triple X Macklin in the number 13 Florida Georgia Lime car for South Houston Youth Motorsports. It's Lego Slap Child. On row eight, it is Giacomo Giacomo coming off a big win in his Kiss Kirill car. And I didn't even, oh, and Jim Blossoms in the number 41 uh, Plasma Train Ford. Kiss me, I'm bleeding. And on row nine, it is Smiley Van Vuren in that. KFC I ate the Bones car and Blario Blandretti in the Blends Oil 22 car. Don't mix your motor oil with uh, with fried chicken. Paul Alcohol and Fat Daryl are on row 10 and on row 11 it is Ennio Sperini. Ennio Sperini and Morris Mayfield in that 69 car. Nice! Um, Ennio Sperini is in that wall-to-wall salve car of course the number 28. On row 12 it is Big Daddy Thibodeau in that number 60 Tucsonade Grit. Dodge, uh, Dodge Stratus and Mr. Naga's most glorious driver in the throwback number 10, Kumite Toyota Yaris. Ready, Kumite! On row 13, it is Wuba Bale in that number 103, Hugger Grapefruits car, the Hugger Citrus Wubaba. brand. And Doug Pork in the 8-3 car, sponsored by All the Ham. You can hug this ham! On row 14, it is Ricky Walton in that Temecula Dirt 32 Pontiac and Nikolai the Soviet driving bear in what appears to be the Russian bears to you, uh, Getting, it seems to be encountering some some spyware at a pop up bands. I don't know. Anywho, row 15, Thicker Richard Ketchup in the Good Gravy 82 car, and Steve Thompson in that number 17, We Buy Drugs.gov car. We Buy Gravy! And on row 16, it is Bobrovsky and Petrol Top Off, a pair of Russians in the back row. That's what, uh, that's what Guy Fiera pays his employees. And there are, that's the pace car, Corso, Lee Corso in the pace car today. Taking these cars out on this dirt track. We're about to go 120 laps. Pause, it's going to be a good goddamn auto race, I believe. We got Kevin, oh, look at all the dust already. <laughs> I did not expect this much dust. I did not expect this much dust, y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, that's ah. awesome! That's ah. awesome! Ah. Hey, this is amazing! Why don't that watch? You just want to pull on them, them, them gas mask on here! Oh, hang on! Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna get my goggles on! I'm gonna do my. Yep, get, get, get your protective gear, wear a mask, everybody! The pace car is shooting up dust, and, and those are not chemtrails. Stop that, you dummy! But they are off pit road, and oh god, I gotta put the mask on. I've already been vaccinated. I don't need my mask. Yeah, we are vaccinated. Get your vaccine. And look at the whole shot that Richard Blood just got. We're keeping an eye on Kevin Boner Pillman, who is trying to keep pace right now. And look at that cloud of dust. <laughs> All that dust oh and smoke. And, oh, my God. This they is awesome. Me. These they cars ain't seeing shit. Close my eyes. I can't even fall asleep because I missed this race. 
And I can't even see a thing. These cars can't see shit as they go around there. Oh my God, Richard Blood has already led a lap in this race. He is somebody that is in sixth place coming into today's race. He's looking pretty good if he can hang on to this, but 120 laps, we're already two laps down. Lap number three, Richard Why Blood getting his five the points. Swamp. They drained the wrong swamp. Oh, that's always the case, ain't it? We're looking at it now is Jeff Gordon, the horse, Jean-Paul Henri. That top 10 is a whole heck of a lot of playoff drivers who all could use a really good finish today. Jeff Shanice in 10th place today. And look at them coming around. This is a great, great place. Look at these swamp lands. They ain't just nothing around here but a racetrack. It's almost like it's ill-advised to build something on this land. This is gonna be the worst farmland you'll see this side of Alaska. This will be the worst farmland you've seen since, since the time they turned that damn circuit city out there to spare Halloween. Yep, pretty much. Well, ain't no Farmville here. It's just uh, some good old fashioned racing. And Jeff Tanaka moving into third place. He's looking to take a shot at second, taking that low line. Now, this is what we're talking about in the case of the race. There ain't a lot of opportunities to pass. There is definitely one good groove to run. And when you got those open windows and there's like gravel and dirt and dust and probably tiny, of, tiny of painful rocks, they're just getting shot up off and in your business. It ain't easy to pass. You can't see nothing. You just gotta, you just gotta drive by feel for it. Now it I was told me with dirt. Now, yep. I was told that the experts, and sometimes they do this, they take the windshield out of the cars. That way, yeah. dirt and dust doesn't accumulate on the windshield, or what That's have you. Pretty much. Yo, yeah, you know I say that. Screw it. These drivers need a chance. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, they say they take the windshields out, and I mean, at that point, you're just getting hit in the face with that stuff. So, I mean, you need those things. So, you know, but you know what you don't need? If you're a good enough race driver, you don't need your eyes. You just need to feel it, and you feel it's that instinct. funk. And we're seeing a pack of five cars, five or six cars all in the front. Jeff Gordon, the horse, trying to put a pass in on Reverend Pastor Chavez, finding his teammate, Jeff Tanaka, to get behind. But Kevin Boner Pillman is, God, that's a good Pen 15 car. That is yeah. a strong, powerful, just coming off the, just coming in off the, uh, coming in off the, uh, the starting gates. They had a good qualifying. They got the pole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a fantastic day so you far. And that'll be car looking so slick. It's looking so poised. You can see they pulled the hood back on it and everything. Yep, yep. That, uh, that, that is just, you know, that beautiful, fleshy toned and purple, uh, yeah, that front of the uh, of the car, that hood, this looks good. And he's got himself right back in front of this race to take five big points. And Kevin Boner Pillman coming into the day, 11th place, only 16 points above the drop zone, the elimination zone. Those five points may make a huge difference when it comes down to that. And we're seeing Kevin Boner Pillman in the lead right now. Take a look at some of the other playoff drivers in this. And we're seeing there is a live update right now. Oh! Not much movement. Hans Vaspulver currently go. sitting in 20th. Paul Alcohol is down in 27th. So that is the four that were in the drop zone at the very beginning. So nothing has really changed. Joe John Winchester is currently in. 18th place he and Jeff yeah, he Gordon the horse have had two really yeah they have had two bad playoff races they have both been out of the race or finished very low Jeff they are, Gordon the horse and Joe John Winchester have been involved in wrecks in consecutive races and yeah. I swear to God that I, they're going to fight each other at some point if they haven't already I swear to God that man is going to fight that horse that's going to be a mixture of, of guns and hoops and fists yep. Tape. Well, and that's maybe, the uh, maybe an ass or yeah. two. I don't know. It's one of those things where for Jeff Gordon, the horse, and Joe John Winchester, they need a win. They are not out of this. You win a race, you are already in. You are into the next round if you get a win in these playoff rounds. And we got oh, we had a quick, quick, quick view from the Blimpus. The Blimpus has found its way over to the swamp. I'm sure you know that wouldn't be a problem if that went down. We did not no clear this. We did not clear this with the local. 
by the way. Oh, absolutely not. Are you kidding and me? And for God's sake, stop trying to puncture the blimpus with sharp objects. Yeah. Like, like your fucking commercial airliner wings. Have yeah. you? Tell him the shit out here. Mile, much like the actual crocodile mile in your kidneys, you gotta check it for stones. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want to flop on their titties first and get a big old rash. Well, that is the thing. This is, uh, this is, there is nothing but tiny rocks, mud, and dirt. Like one of them old mud, mud racing sort of days of the, uh, of the 90s where they had the tractor pulls. And, uh, you know, they always had the tractor pulls. They never had the tractor pushes. Man, that shit was awesome, man. I lost that. my... They, I they had one of those, they had one of those festivals, uh, called a burning croc. I don't know if you heard about yeah. this. Burning, no, burning croc is where you, you actually dip your feet in molten hot foam, and it actually forms a croc shoe around your foot. And they actually do the oh. tractor pulls where you have two girls in bikinis fight each other on top of the other tractors. I tell you, croc, croc, burning croc is crazy. Burning croc is something, but I understand it's all about vibes. It's just about you go there and you just vibe it out. That's my understanding about that. Well, but it did that is generate a small earthquake from explosion, so yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you're. I guess if your feet are just burning to to a crisp and you're getting, you know. Almost like natural Crocs, putting on your feet. I guess the best thing you can do is just vibe it out and try not to think about the the searing, burning pain. 18 laps into this race, and Kevin Boner Pillman, our pole sitter, is still sitting in first place. Richard Blood in second, right behind him, has led this race for just a little bit. So that is five points to both the 15 and the 51. A little palindrome front row. Looking at Jeff Gordon, the horse, who absolutely needs a win today. He's got to have it. I tell you what, as much as Joe John Winchester wants to fight Jeff Gordon, the horse at these last races, I tell you, that horse wants to kick that damn son of a bitch right in his chest. Yeah. Well, if I mean, to be fair, I think that horse wants to kick anybody in the chest. But, you know, we, we can't tell because it's a horse. He don't speak English. I was like, a giant salt block to eat. But we've got, yeah, we are looking at Paul Alcohol right now, who is having a hard time getting himself going. Sitting alongside Wu Bale. That is Paul Alcohol is currently sitting in 28th place. Looking at Petrol Topoff, who came in today at 9th place. He's sitting in 26th, so he might be, there might be a hot seat going on for the number 90 car, Matryoshka Inc. And you better believe that any sort of math that these pit crews can do, they got an idea of what these drivers need to do. We're looking at Reverend Pastor Chavez, who is right behind Richard Blood. Pastor Chavez is looking pretty dang good at the moment. He is coming in at fourth. He is coming in fourth place today, coming into this race. He's sitting in third place right behind Richard Blood. I think he's probably pretty safe. Shit, man. I was wondering what that was. I thought it was just a draft from the window. It was actually just like, I, I just I felt like, I, I felt so much sand just hit the back window. See, see here, the problem is, is that when you close the door, you open a window. But if you yeah. close the window, you open the door. So you oh. kind of got to leave half of each one. I got open. the envelope. It's time for the parts on the Oh! Not a parts on the gas parts of the race. Oh, well, that's why the door opened. I see. Well, it is. The parts unknown, unknown auto parts, unknown lap of the race. It is lap number 24. Kevin Boner Pillman leads that lap. You can get yourself any sort of part to any sort of thing at parts unknown, unknown auto parts. You can get yourself a parts for a 1965 Shelby Cobra. And I don't mean a Shelby Cobra. I mean a guy named Shelby is illegally owning a Cobra and keeping it at his house as contraband. Yep. You can also get yourself a doohickey for a 1983 Wasp. Not an actual car, an actual Wasp. It is 1,983 wasp. wasps. I, I'm no, uh, I'm, I'm no bug expert, but uh, I didn't know wasps had doohickeys. It's the first ever, in it was a car that was powered by insects. Oh, okay. But you said insects, right? Inse 
that's okay. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, that's... No, 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 that's the Mormon wasp. That's yeah, that's a different. that's a different that's a different that's a that's an entirely different car that I don't feel comfortable talking about. But uh, anywho, we've got Reverend Pastor Chavez getting a bunch of clouds of dust that he is shooting up right behind him into Jeff Tanaka, think, who is shooting into his teammate Jeff Gordon the Horse. The horse. I, think, I think you can get, I think I know that car there. The Mormon kind that made it out of Utah. I think it was a 1991 Polywhacker. Oh, there you go. That'll do it. Well, we're looking at Boo and Jessup in that number nine Gumboos car right behind him. Paul Walker in the double zero. They are just rounding out the top 10. Paul Walker in 12th place coming into today's race. So a top 10 finish for the double zero Nihilist Arby's car is a very good place to be. That will help his case very much so. But Boo and Jessup right in ninth place handling this dirt track very well. And we're looking at Bucket Dushine in eighth place. We're just kind of making our way up from the top 10. Jeff Shanice above him. Shanice came into the, today 10th place. He's going to need a good result. Jean-Paul Henri, 7th coming into today. By the way, all these people out here in the stands today, <coughs> all this dust flat around, yes. not a single person wearing a mask. There you go. Eliminate the mask mandate at this race, I tell you. Well, they certainly the have. They don't seem to care. They must have all been vaccinated. I hope so. They just, just fill it up on chicken grease and skin and uh, also actual medicine. I gotta blame some damn grease down on this track. It's so damn dust and dry. Yeah, that might be that might be good. We're gonna get ahead another another live update to our playoffs and Petrol top off is in the hot seat. He's got 26 points ahead of alcohol, Vaspulver, Winchester, and the horse. Not much movement. So that is that is as things start. That is basically as things started at the uh, at the beginning of the race today. So maybe some movement in the top twelve, but the four that are on their way uh, into elimination here in the first round of these Did the Cup playoffs are basically the same. It is the thirty-five, the ninety-nine, the eight, and the forty-seven as of right now. But we still have just under ninety. Laps to go. We're looking at the number 60 car, Big Daddy Thibodeau, and that Tucsonade Grit car. Tucsonade Grit, one of the offshoot brands of the Tucsonade sports drink. It is made with real dirt. And Thibodeau is, uh, well, that's appropriate to be sponsored by something made with real dirt. He's sitting in 22nd yeah, place right now. It. Yeah. Well, you know, they got all sorts of, uh, they got, you know, they got flavors that don't sound like flavors, like like Mountain Trail and uh, Dusty Highway and Lemon. And La Crotch. Yeah, and La Crotch, exactly. Yeah, that's hey, you, that you don't the, want you don't want any grit. Cup you don't water? want you don't want grit in your La Crotch. That's the thing. I don't I, I found I found I go with the simpler stuff when I drink my La Crotch. You, you don't want to get yourself grapefruited when in, in the La Crotch. Not at all, not at all. But we'll could, and this is this is going to be green flag pit stops. Our leaders are coming out. The 15 and the 51 are coming down to get some fuel. This Same is tactic. interesting to see, and so that's going to mean for the 33 car, Reverend Pastor Chavez. That's five big points. He's leading a lap here, and he's just going to go out. ahead. I'm not sure that's if he's going to stay idea. out. He stays out for that, but he's going to come in, and so is Jeff Tanaka. Means we're going to have another new race leader. I'm sure that's a smart move for Reverend Pastor Chavez. Get those five points. This is a good chance to do it when cars are coming in. You stay out there for an extra lap. You you kind of time your pit stop. And, of course, when these cars are coming to pit road, they are being filled up with high-quality, high-octane Beepus fuel. Put a little Beepus in your tank. Mmm, Beepus. Mmm, Mike. That is the yeah. official... Fuel sponsor of the Diddler Cup for the year 20. One and one. This is how Wubub Hawk gonna win this race. He's gonna win it in the pits. He's in 25th right now. And he is moving Just up stay to 13. He is moving He's to 13th. 13th. Hey, you oh, you son of a bitch. And Boo and Jessup staying out there to lead a lap, get some points. Because again, there is a battle for 17th from the non playoff uh, cars. So There's Boo and Jessup. 
Oh, oh, oh you just gotta beat the kid. Yep, all you gotta do is beat the. the I'm not gonna repeat that. that. That's gonna get me in trouble. But uh, we're seeing El Matador Toto Rosanna exactly. staying out to lead a lap right now before he comes in. Last thing you want to do is. You son of a bitch, let's do it! Yeah, boo, uh, them boo them boo them They are ro rotating around, and we're seeing as it goes. Joe John Winchester in second place at the moment. They are all coming in. Paul Alcohol coming in to get some fuel. And again, we're seeing, we're might, we might be seeing two more pit stops as things go based on our estimated fuel window. That's right. That is an estimate. Good. It's estimated fuel and mud wi and dirt yeah, window. Yeah, the, the mud window. That's right. The mud, well, the mud window is the windshield, as opposed to what you would assume to be called the mud window if I was saying it in casual conversation. By, by the way, if you keep your mud window stick, clean, everybody. Yeah, just make sure to use some discount condoms too. <laughs> it's like when, it's like when when I used to watch the wrestling and when Dust told me about going to the mud window. Yeah, exactly. I always go to the mud window. Well, we're seeing the final set of cars. Rotating it around here, El Matador Toto Rosanna. I think might be back out there. He's going to lead a couple laps right now. But we are He's seeing. Out. Yeah, he is staying out. I don't know if he if I missed the pit stop for him. Oh, we got a caution. Oh, oh yellow flag's oh. out. Yellow flag's out. Reverend Pastor Chavez is leading this race. As the yellow flag comes out, Kevin Boner Pillman is going to have to get ahead and get right behind that 33 car. He was looking to make a pass. Caution is out. We're getting word it is something involving. Oh, that was that was Joe John Winchester in the pits and oh, Fat Daryl. Oh, wow. This might be the end of the championship hopes of Joe John Winchester. Hit. Oh my goodness. What a run of terrible luck for the 4 to 7 team. Unbelievable. That is unfortunate. 3 wins this season. And the 47 team may have to kiss their playoff hopes and their championship hopes goodbye. Well, look at this. We're getting a little bit of topping off of fuel here. Might be getting some group. We're getting some caution pit stops. Everybody basically pitted already. But we're seeing another round of pit stops. Now, now, Lloyd, is this just to try to like mess up with the window? Why why would why would drivers want to do this? Is there any reason why drivers would want to do this? Some are staying out there. Look at that. That is yeah. going to be They're someone just wanting to top this no! off. Remember. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll get back to that in just a second. We're going to see what happened. So this is Joe John Winchester leaving pit row. We saw him going on. And, oh, I can think. I think this is a tough thing. Getting up to speed and exiting pit row. And it's there he out. is. He just gets oh, into that 80. And the 81. The 81 gets into him. He thought he was clear, and the 81 just did not give him any way, any leeway. That is unfortunate for Joe oh, John Winchester oh, and Fat Daryl. He is champion, the longest reigning champion by span of time, and Zach for Kratom Store is out. He cannot win this championship no more. Bye. What? What a damn shocker! Pace car coming the fuck out. Yeah, that's a quick. That's a quick. Uh, I guess I think when it's a dirt track, you don't you don't really got You don't really got to fix too much on the track. You don't got to clean too much. You just kind of let it all just sort of meld in with the mud. <laughs> yep, there we go. Another big. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucks. I hate that. I definitely hate that. I don't like that at all. That's that's pretty gross. But look at this, okay. Doug Pork must have had a great, a great pit stop. Doug Pork in that all the ham car is leading this race. Ham. He wants all the ham and he wants all five points for leading this race. But right behind him is the 15 and the 11, two playoff drivers. Kevin Motor Pimmon snap, trying to sneak it underneath, smiling Van Buren. What's the do? We're also, it, it, also apparently hearing that uh, the Oh, yeah, we're, we're kind of wondering what's happened to Jeff Gordon, the horse. We're going to see if we can get something going on. That I don't think the horse left pit road. Oh, my horse, God. I, I believe Jeff Gordon, the horse, is still on pit Hold road. On, I mean, we saw what happened at Winchester, so I'm okay, not sure. Okay. There was some sort of incident on pit road with the eight car. 
Might have been a, uh, there might have been some sort of, some sort of wreck on pit road. We're gonna see if we can get that coming up in just a second. See if we can get that. Somebody get me close to that. We, we, we were kind of focused. Oh, caution out again. I'm not sure what for. Oh my God. Second caution. We're great. Well, the horse, Daddy. This is, this is earlier. This is earlier during the last caution. There, so there is Jeff Gordon, the horse pitting. And apparently watch what comes in here. Coming in, cutting it too close. That is Jeff Shanice, his teammate. That's teammate. Just sliding into him. This muddy, dirty, sloppy track. Greasy, cheesy, gravy. Smothered, covered, capped, topped. Dust, circumstances. And jacked. Gastrated. Yep. Coagulated. No, 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 no. Agitated. No, liquefied. Yep. And we're going pit pit stops again for that's a, right. they got to get more they got to get more fuel mud in the car triple x back when an actual child was going to lead this lap yeah that's going to be an amazing thing to say from the thc kratom <laughs> store yeah well we're going to go ahead and, and pay pay the bills and let you know that they are getting filled up with high quality high octane beepus fuel nothing lets you run a tank that's full of mud like beepus the official fuel sponsor of the 2021 did the cup mm. Bapis. Mm, Bapis. Bapis. I'm trying to get my wet. Ah, damn. Binoculars out here. See if Jeff Gordon the horse is going to try and find his teammate or if Joe John Winchester is going to find him first. Well, it looks I mean, like there's a lot, lot of nerve flying around here. You never know if that horse is going to find its own teammate. Yeah, who knows? Jeff Gordon the horse, I think, is back on the track. Yeah, we're seeing. There's the eight right there, right? That bucket dude there. just came back in off of uh, Pit Road. So, so again, Lord, th th this is too quick yellow flag stops after they just took green flag pit stops are they just trying to make sure they can top off with more fuel so they don't That's have right. to worry about it later they're or are they trying, trying to, to just mess with their opponents they're trying to make the fuel number they're trying to make the mud fuel number mm, okay well we're gonna have we're gonna hit lap 50 and an actual 13 year old child triple x macklin is gonna lead this race this goddamn right. motor race is led by a child that's right. A child with a bright future ahead of him. I just yep. know it. Yep, Triple X Macklin, the youngest, the student driver of South Tucson Youth Motorsports. Of course, that is a three-car team alongside Ennio Sperini in the 28. Big Daddy Thibodeau in the 60. They bring a 13-year-old from their intramural youth driver. Oh, hang on, we're gonna get some playoff updates. Kevin Boner Pillman is now in the drop zone. Our pole sitter now sitting in 21st because Paul Alcohol has crept his way up to 13th place. That has moved alcohol into 12th. Boner Pillman has dropped from 11th down to 13th, y'all. He oh, is gonna God. need to make some moves, and you know that that, that Pen 15, that slapped on corporate racing team, is doing anything they can to make sure they have a car in the second round, because right now that is both him and the 99, his teammate, that are not looking good. Know what has happened to that damn high back over, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Joe John Winchester is not be ashamed of this record season, but I just don't know what in the world happened to him in this playoffs. And obviously, I feel like he is going to want to fight Jeff Gordon the horse at some point. Would not surprise me. I mean, well, if they're both eliminated, they got nothing to lose, so they might as well just try it after all. They might as well try that. and have a themselves a damn <laughs> boxing match at the next round of <laughs> <laughs> races <laughs> at <laughs> Oregon. Yeah, why not? That is a lot. It absolutely is a lot of dust. You're absolutely right. We are seeing. You are watching. You are watching the Diddler Cup Racing Series. This is the final race of the first round of the playoffs. 16 drivers raced. Uh, we had 15 races for those just to get kind of caught up here. 15, uh, 15 races happened as 32 drivers tried to make it to the top 16. By winning races, by accumulating points. 16 drivers started the playoffs. They had three races. This is race number three of the first round. Where we're gonna drop that car that track down from that, that field down from 16 to 12. We're gonna have three more races, go from 12 to 8. Three more races go to 8 to 4. And then one final race in Santa Monica, California where the highest of the four drivers will be crowned. 2019 
slash 2021 champions. Right now, Triple X Macklin, who is not a playoff driver, nor is Boo and Jessup, but hey, winning races, you still get paid for winning your races. You still get the points for winning your races. Money. You still get the accolades. Boo and Jessup. Look I at that. Imagine, I can't imagine how many V Bucks that uh, that Triple X Macklin could buy if he wins this yeah. race. I mean, that could buy like. V Bucks. They, they sell that on Wee Bullshit too? Yeah. Oh, wanna, maybe. I might want to try it in my expo coin for that. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, well, it's it's all about it's all about it's all about buying the dips, is what I understand. Uh, it's all about Bitch, buying the dips. dips. Man, I buy the dips all the time. I buy myself some Copenhagen. I buy myself some Stone. I buy all the dips. I spend that yeah. damn cup. Ooh. Well, I, I usually put my hand upon my hip when I dip. You dip, we dip. But that's just me and. You know, sometimes I like to get a little little freak nasty, but not too much. Just a little bit. You want to talk about nasty, this damn yeah. track surface. We're halfway Freaking through, but this track is breaking the fuck down. It's sloppy and slippery, and these cars are so damn hard to handle. And that's why these are the best worst drivers in the world. I mean, they're dumb as hell, but they, they know how to wheel a stock car around occasionally sometimes. I remember 10 years ago when Freak Nasty played at Crocchella. Oh yeah, oh croc jelly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or was that, that croc jelly? Or was that croc jelly? Croc jelly. Croc jelly. Okay, I'm thinking of croc yeah. jelly, which is that something was, entirely different. With, uh, they, had, they had a band there called Kane the Mayor. <laughs> Did they? I, I think so. They came to the they mayor. Just, Good for them. They they came the mayor. It was a percussion act. It was weird. Yeah, that's. I mean, you know, that's a little avant garde, but hey, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm, I'm pretty Avante Guarde myself. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know what Avante Guarde is, but, I, but, I, but if she puts out, I mean, that's good enough for me. Do you know any of Sparini? Oh, it sounds familiar. Maybe they're related. Cause I, I wonder if she's into the suppository stuff. The innuendo. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's all that, about ain't it. That, yeah. Ain't that that? Ain't that that damn mafia show they had on HBO with the smoked mates, with the cured mates? You mean yeah. Oh man, now that, I'm hungry. That, now this one's good barbecued. Man, that's that good soup. Man, that Tony Soprano, he can put away some cured mates. Yeah, he sure can. Oh man, now I want cured. Now I just want. I just want some cured meats. I just want some barbecue. Oh, Yes. I'll, I'll tell you what i tell you what we want is we want a 13 year old child being pursued by a bear Eggs I want pursued by a bear out dead animal we have that is Nikolai the Soviet bear. driving the bear Yosemite is going on here that is a that is that is triple X Macklin leading this race behind him pursued by a bear Nikolai the Soviet driving bear in that number two it. and don't worry that looks like a bee that is apparently Cyrillic numbers. That's a real thing that exists, or did. Um, sponsored by Russian Bears to you, but that looks like there's, he's looking like he's having a bit of a pop-up ad problem. There is, there is, somehow that car has gotten infected with spyware, and I don't understand how that works. But, uh, you know. I got a question, is the Cyrillic numbers where they're slightly slanted? Yes. I mean, it might be, I don't know. Maybe it's going so fast that it's slanted a little bit. That, that is a number two but just in like the Russian language, I guess. That is Matryoshka Inc. That I wasn't is, uh, aware that I wasn't aware that Ponzi Buddy was sponsoring the car for this weekend. Yeah, I'm surprised. That is that is definitely Ponzi Buddy on the uh, that's Ponzi Buddy on the hood. Something about hot shingles in your roof area. That I don't bear's know. Bear's got a free ringtone. Yeah, I, he does. I, I tell you what, man. I tell you what, man. I, I went. I went to the damn shop bottle down the down the street from the open yeah. soft because it opened. I left with. I was left with a case of hot shingles the other day. That's fair. Don't yeah. Ever, don't ever ask for the beef brisket. It's no. always undercooked, man. I don't think that, that's that actually bear, brisket. That bear was a homeowner before 1983 in his state, so I'm sure he's getting some money back from the federal government. Oh, absolutely. One way or another. Yeah. yeah. DUI laws have changed in his state, too. Well, if he makes one pass and can last another 50-plus laps, we can basically go, congratulations, you won. To the bear, you know. That sounds about right.
Yeah, well, Triple X Macklin is not giving up this lead. We are at lap number six and nine. Nice. nice. And that is Jeff Tanaka, currently sitting in 14th place in that 88 F, uh, Jeff Y.E. car, right behind Paul Alcohol, who has made his, <laughs> he's made his way up. I'm sorry, yeah, we, I do want to make note of something that, that did make me chuckle, and I can't not say it, is that, of course, the, the Ponzi buddy that is on Nikolai Zovia Drive Bear is named after Arthur Scheme Ponzarelli. That's good. It makes me laugh too much. I can't not say that. That's too good. Bring that Miller used to play for the New York Stankies. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I, I hear Ponzi and I keep thinking it's an Italian pool. Not uh, fair. It might as well be. Anyway, we got a live update and uh, not much Fire changing up. here. We're still seeing Kevin Boner Pillman, Hans Vaspulver, Joe John Winchester, and Jeff Gordon the horse. So the slapped on corporate racing cars, I think we're starting to think that it's probably a safe bet that Joe John Winchester and Jeff Gordon the horse are. A little too far gone to be uh, to be saved. Tank. Yeah, yeah. Jeff, Joe John Winchester is out of this race. Jeff Gordon, the horse, a couple of uh, a couple of uh, a couple of laps down. Those two are out. So we're looking at that race from 14th all the way up. Again, Hans Vaspulver has a chance, but Kevin Boner Pillman only two points out of the out of safety. And as was pointed out, that is like one spot, maybe two. That's leading a lap. Now those five, those five points he got for leading the lap are a huge thing. And here's Boo and Jessup trying to make a pass on the bear, but all alone, and he's going to have to stick into third place. We are 73 laps into this 120-lap race. That bear is after that boy's spucking dick basket. Absolutely. Oh, there, caution's there. out. Oh, the caution's, caution's out. Still not sure why. I think we're getting for there is a... Uh... Somebody slow down. I'm, I'm, t I'm being told something like Deborah's on the track. There's Deborah on the track. Well, somebody better get her off the damn track. Yeah, get off the track, hey, Deborah. Hey, 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 start doing mud wrestling, but I love it anyway. Wow. Oh wait, oh wait, it's it's debris. Sorry, it's debris, not not. Deb well, Bree, no, Bree, you and your sister Deborah. <laughs> you and your sister Deborah better get off the dang track. Okay. I, I, I can't. I can't. Can fucking it. weird, man. Who in the world decided to schedule a champion of wrestling test in the middle of a damn Denver Cup race series playoff race? That I'm is just poor event. Referee in that. that is just poor event management. Someone should have reserved this room. Caution is out. We're 75 laps into this 120 race. 120 now, lap race. Able, now, we're not able to show actual footage of the uh, of no. the mud wrestling here. Oh, we don't because, have uh, to that. Are you kidding me? I, what are I we, ESPN? Actually, no, I think what's happened, I think Lee Corso has a bucket of suet and fertilizer. I think oh. they're resawed in the track. Oh. That, last time this occurred was in Hines Field in Pittsburgh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bray has just pinned Deborah to win oh. the United States Mud Wrestling Championship of the Okefenokee Swamp. We it's can. We, we, I wish I could have shown it to you. We can, in fact, tell you that. Yeah, we don't have the, we, 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 yeah, we don't have the rights to that. It's the sisterhood of the pants that fit in one leg. Yeah. What do you think we are, the 11 Sports Network? Come on. What do you think we are, Dazzin? What do yeah. you think we are, Bean TV? Exactly. Bean well, sports? look at that. After after Beans. some good, after some good pitting, it is the Air Supply 75 car getting some clean air to lead this goddamn auto race on the restart. I'm and telling of course, you, this is how you're gonna win the race today. You gotta, you gotta win it in the pits. Win it That's in the why pits. Bob Hall went up the spot there. He's up in 19th place. Yep. This ain't Woo. Triller. This ain't no party. This ain't no disco. This ain't no fooling around. But of this course, we do LA. have a, we do have a restart, which of course is sponsored by the official adult dapper of the Dealer Cup Racing Series. Restart your bowels with Reshart, because you always want to finish number one, but just make sure you finish your number two first. Make sure you finish it in your reusable adult diapers. Yep. That's how they tell us we're going to be carbon neutral, whatever the fuck. I've had plenty of cars. Absolutely. Well, we are at lap seven to eight. Keeping an eye on Bowie, Jessup, 
right in front of Nikolai the Soviet driving bear. Steve Thompson has been quiet this race. And he is oh, creeping brother. up into the top three. He's trying to make a pass on the bear. Now that is the thing. Oh. That is a bear. That bear does not shit oh, my. that you are coming up on to try to pass because he is a bear that we have put into a car and allowed to drive in a stock car race. He doesn't care if that's Federal Age chasing him down because he's a bear. Yeah, that is the ATF Bureau car, the Steve Thompson. The the number 17 we buy drugs .gov car. His teammate Joe John Winchester out of this race. That two car team dropped, of course, after Agent Toby Keith was called into the field. And we're seeing Triple X Macklin trying to hang on to that top five spot. He's got a playoff driver, and this is somebody who has a very good chance of moving up in the standings. Paul Walker, sixth place right now. He came in to this race in the standings. He was just nine points above the drop. And I'm pretty sure that a sixth place finish, if he can hang on to that top 10 finish, will be just fine for him. Bucky Dushan is in ninth place. Quite day for Bucky, but he's been fairly safe. He's been 152 points above elimination. So I don't think he's in any sort of he's trouble smart. here. He's he just wants smart. to. He just wants to get himself some extra points by having a good finish because, again, points do carry over into the next round. That's right. He just wants to get himself a crunch wrap, which is part of the same food group as a dumpling and a hot pocket. Yeah, it's a dumpling pie, basically, your, cr your crunch wrap. That's in the same family as the hostess gas station pies. Absolutely. Yeah, well, those are just dumplings. Yeah, they're just dumplings. They're, like, completely encased, like calzones and hot pockets. And oh, it's deep oh. from, is it technically an empanada? Yep, Dump everything's right. a dumpling. Anything's a dumpling if you try hard enough. That's right. Anything's made, a dumpling if I've it ends up in the toilet. I've made plenty of dumplings, I'll tell you that. There you go. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, that's why you're going to need your Reshard Adult Dapper, the official adult dapper of the Diddler Cup Racing Series. Race start your bowels with Reshard. Because you want to finish number one, you got to watch out for number two. People tell me all the time you got to restart your bowels by by eating better. I say, fuck that. All you gotta do is just shit your britches. I mean, it's just that simple. <laughs> it's it's just science. That's just science. The proof, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, uh, the chocolate uh, uh, pudding stains on the back. Eating 40 oysters is self-care, goddammit. An entire bag of oranges is delicious. Yeah. You know what? No, it's, it's like when you hit F5 on the browser when you're trying to buy Florida Georgia Line tickets. Yeah, absolutely. And then, and then all of a sudden, some some baby-faced looking uh, weirdo down on Minnesota comes up and slams you right through a catch. That's what usually happens when I press F5 on my keyboard. Or maybe that's just a dream I had while I was high on peyote. I was just trying to figure out what the UI loss changed. Well, I don't know if anybody really ever knows that. Expunged. Yeah, fair enough. Oh man, that's why I, I can go for a good. I can go for a good expunge kick right now. The DUIs in Japan's a death penalty. I ain't going back there. Well, you know, we gotta keep. We got. We just have, we're just have to put you under a disguise when we have to go back there. We'll just we'll just make you uh, Beaumont Snicknage. That's that's Jenkins backwards. Remember that time we, we bought a hooker and I got in the back and we got to make like a reverse horse? Like the horse head was backward and she got in front? <laughs> oh, yeah. The only, time, the only time I remember that of... of, we, of we tried uh, to play it off as performance art. I mean, the only time I've ever bought a hooker is so I can get into the HOV lane because I just need somebody else in my car. I mean... It's She's very nice. Man, they're good for conversation. They got stories. Look, I, I want to buy... I wanna buy I want to buy a hooker, I'll be honest, but I tell you what, I don't care cash around, and I can't just, I can't just stick the chip inside a butt crack. Yeah, it's, it was easier you, when you, you just got, had to you, swap it. Swapping it was easier, I think. Yeah, it was I mean, easier that way, or unless you could just like, if you could just tap, tap it with your credit card. Okay, I understand. Yeah, they, they they need that technology update. I don't think they got that yet. Well, we're going to have an update to our playoffs in just a moment or so as we this are at time. 90 laps, 30 laps to go as they come around. We're looking at uh, the, well, 
Paul Walker in sixth place right now, trying to make a charge for fifth, trying to make a pass. And there we have it right now. Paul Walker has moved into top eight. It is still the 15 and the 99. It is a five-point difference right now. Jeff Shanice is only seven points clear. Paul Alcohol is only five points clear. That is a battle we are watching. We're going to have another update in about 20 laps. And then as we get closer to the finish, we're going to have them a little bit closer together. As we are seeing. But El Battle Rotor Rosanna is continuing to lead this race. He's doing a damn good job. It's been a while since this squeak of boys motherfuckers won a race. It's mm -hmm. happened before, but it, but it has been a long time. That's why he's not in the playoffs. Yeah, it's been such a long time. I think I must be going. No, not me, but that's the, the song. There. Anywho, yeah, he has been leading this race since lap number seven to six. So he might be uh, making a challenge for uh, for leading the most laps. I think he is. Uh, he's coming up close on Triple X Macklin, who has led, I believe, 26 laps. I mean, he just gets in front, and he's like, here I am, the one you love. Yep. I loves you forever, baby. Absolutely. Well, that is, and we're looking at Bowie Jessup, who's having a great day as well in second place. Nikolai, the Soviet driving bear in third. Steve Thompson in fourth. Triple X Macklin in fifth. That is your top five. Paul Walker, the, the highest, uh, highest finishing, uh, well, highest, highest running right now of the playoff drivers. This is, this is an impressive thing. This is a, a top five that has not a single playoff driver in it. That just shows how competitive and how how stacked the roster here of drivers is in the Diddler Cup. And there are going to be a bunch of drivers who maybe, you know, maybe they're trying to audition for a good a good ride next year. Maybe they maybe they want to make some moves in their uh, for their contracts. Maybe they want to impress a new team or make sure they can hold on to a job with their current team. This is the whole, this is silly as shit season, y'all. Silly shit, y'all. It's all about silly shit. Jelly, jelly We're seeing that is, that is one of our drivers that is looking on the outside, looking in right now. Kevin Boner Pillman down in 21st place oh, right behind man, Jim Blossoms. He needs to make some moves if he wants he to get. Yeah, that might be, that might be a strategy. He's getting, time is getting, Time is but a construct, but time is running out on the Pen15 team. Time is a construct, and concussions are just a conspiracy to try and sell more dark rooms. Time nope. is a flat circle, and we are the needle playing music on it. That's right. It, we're playing music all throughout the Hemis flat. Absolutely. Speaking of music, have... you ever remember that time back in 93 at a crack stop? Oh man, this was back. That's back when I was damn dropping out of high school to go smoke some more weed behind the bleachers yep. at the damn short track while I was running the damn quarter midgets. It was a group of old people called Defer Leopard. Yeah. One of, one of the dudes' arm fell off. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah. But the problem is, if it fell, if it fell off, the lead singer couldn't hear, it. so they couldn't stop and, and get him the attention he needed because he was deaf, right? I think so. We got some pit stops happening. Triple X Macklin seems to have pit and is down a lap. We're going to start seeing, yeah, we're going to start seeing some green flag pit stops right now, it looks like. Now, Matador Toto oh. Rosanna is still Stop in up. this race. Here. Stop at the time. Yeah, we're going to see. This is going to be very interesting to see how this happens. No matter Toto Rosanna still out there. 20 laps to go as they come around right now. Paul Walker in fifth place. That is a top five finish. There's a bunch of drivers that are, oh, that's actually a couple of drivers. Eight, nine, and 10 are all playoff drivers. Paul Alcohol looking very good right now. He was in 13th coming into today. He has moved up above the drop. A top 10 finish for that 35 team. They would like to join their teammate Giacomo Giacomo in the next round. Giacomo Giacomo made a jump up. He was basically in 16th place in the playoff rankings. Won the dang race last week in the reaction world of South Tucson. And he did not have to worry about his stance no more. He was already through to the second round. Jeff Shanice is one of the cars that is just hanging by a thread. Only a couple of points making a difference. That is a spot or two. So He's hanging again, on, on by a single grain of rice. And, and on Shanice. Yep, on a, tra on a track that is proven to be very difficult to pass on it's just sloppy and dusty 
and messed up. Passing is it was one of our key threes. You gotta find your time to pass. You can't get you can't lollygag. You can't dawdle. You gotta just make your moment and have it happen as El Matador Toto Rosanna continues to lead this race. He's you just coming gotta up. Fuck around and find out. Yeah, he That's is coming right. up on he has come up on leading. He is now past Triple X Macklin, most laps led. So this might put the most laps led. We're gonna get to a point where it is impossible for anybody else to lead the most laps. And that will put the uh, extra five, uh, the extra five points out of reach of anybody in the playoffs. So that's just gonna be leading a lap or not leading a lap. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. We got a couple more uh Evan Boner Pillman moved up to 19th. Just put a pass on Jim Blossoms. Again, we saw some cars coming in and taking pit stops. Not sure what happened to Triple X Macklin, if that was a, a, a fueling issue. He did stay out and lead the race at one point. Maybe I, he's think, I think the fuel mixture may have been too rich for mud. Mm, that might have been it. Yeah, because he was too rich he was for leading. His mud. <laughs> he was leading coming out of the caution. So maybe that would just put him on a totally different fuel window as the rest of the field. So that's why he was off. But right now it is 75 2 9 17 double zero. That is your top five. All within a second of the lead. As we are dwindling down, we got 15 laps to go here at the Crocodile Mile of Okefenokee Swamp in the swamps of Florida for the 300 miles of failure piles in their cup playoff race. We will eliminate four drivers from playoff contention, from championship contention today. We're going to pile these four drivers into a fucking bowl, and then we're going to send that fucking bowl down to the mm -hmm. other side of the table where you can't pay for check chips no more. Just eat it with a, a plastic spoon. You don't even eat with a spoon. You just shove your whole face hole into it. Yep, that's fair. Hey, you know, I ain't gonna tell you how to eat your eat your failure pile in a sadness bowl. But there are gonna be sadness bowls for four drivers today. Look at fucking Deuce shine in eighth place finish. John Paul on Reed, ninth place, right behind him. Paul Alcohol, top ten finish. Oh, when he was when needed the most. He absolutely needed him and that 99 car. Does not look good for the 99 team. The slap mark car. It's like it may not be finishing high enough to get out of the drop zone. But that battle to avoid being the 13th place oh, car. And look at this. We got, oh, there you go. A matter of Toto Zana getting fuel. Getting fuel. Booing Jessup. New race leader. He's already led a lap under caution back at lap 38. But Bowie Jessup staying out there right now with the 2 and the 17 right behind I him. Bowie Jessup. Wrong. Yeah, well, Adam Matador Toto Rosanna took his, took his points, took his lap. But we're going to see some other cars coming out there. That is, I think that was the 82 car, Thicker Richard Ketchup in the Good Gravy uh, sponsor car. One of, the, one, of the many, one of the many sauces, condiments, and spreads from the Mouthfeel brand. 10 to go. Here we go. Look at this. Jeff Shanice is now in the drop zone. Kevin Boner Pillman and Paul Alcohol have lifted themselves up oh my goodness. out of this. Four points separate Four Kevin Boner Pillman and Jeff Shanice as more cars are coming out on the pit road. This is a green flag stop with nine to go. We're going to see how you they handle this. You do not want to fuck these pit stops up. No, you do not. Paul Walker has stayed out to get five points. Those are his first laps that he's led. He is just making sure that he stays out there. He takes an extra lap to go around and brings in alongside Bobrovsky. There's thicker Richard Ketchup coming back out. There is Ricky Walton, who is going to stay out and take five points and lead this race in that Temecula dirt car. We have not talked about the Temecula dirt car. What an appropriate place to be at the front of the race on our dirt it's track. It's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. If you need good, high-quality dirt, meet me in Temecula. That's what they say. Eight to I'd go. I'm confused with that white Temecula sand. And there's there's Ricky Walton taking his pit that shit stop. Will fuck you up. We're gonna see that absolutely. Yeah, you gotta. Just, you watch the sand. You stick to the dirt in Temecula. That is good. It's got healing properties. You just you just go there and you get the essence. Now let's start his car back on the track. Let's see how it shakes out as they come back around. Green flag pit stops. Booing Jessup is right behind the 17. And as we're coming around, we're going to start to see these numbers start to come back together as everybody is back on the track. Steve Thompson 
We totally missed his pit stop. There's Ricky Walton coming back out onto the track. After his pit stop, Jean-Paul Henri currently in 11th. We're going to see how it comes back around as Walton has... Well, they have not registered another lap just yet with six to go. Steve Thompson is leading this race. With Boo and Jessup right behind him, Paul Walker is oh up to third. Nikolai the Soviet drive bear in fourth, Bobrovsky in fifth, El Matador Toto Rosanna in sixth, Florio Blandretti in seventh, Bucket Deuce Shine in eighth, Triple X back in ninth, John Paul Henri in tenth. In another lap or so, we're going to have Wait, another no, standings update because this has all been shaken up. We need some damn, we need these damn damn crunch numbers. We have got people in, look at this, we're looking at it right now. Petro top off in 12th place, a single point ahead of Jeff Shanice. Top off is sitting in 26th. Shanice Woo! is in 22nd. But that don't matter when it comes down to the points. It is ever so close here, y'all. Five to go. Steve Thompson leading this race. Four to go. Steve Thompson still win this race. I cannot believe it. This would be, uh, you know, uh, the one time he has been quiet, he hasn't been involved in any sort of wrecks, any That's sort of nonsense, point. any sort of bullshit, and he might just go ahead and win him a dang auto race. Paul Walker in third place right now. Look at this. I'm not this proud of is amazing. Steve Thompson's doing it. He might, he might. I mean, there's not a lot of chance to pass. Bowie Jessup is a half second behind. This is where it gets interesting. That is thicker Richard Ketchup, who is the last car on the lead lap in the Good Grave 8-2 car. I think Thompson's going to have to contend with him in his... In his... There, we're seeing... There we go with two to go. Jeff Shanice, a point uh, behind Petro Topoff. He's, he's got to get around so close. Man Fearing with a lap and a half to go. He's got to get around him, Ken. Jeff Shanice, he's got three tenths of a second behind Van Buren. I don't know if he can do it. Paul Walker came into this in 12th place. Oh, last lap. Last lap. White flag is flown here at the Crocodile Mile. Booed Jessup is getting ever so close. Trying to make a pass. Can Booed do it? Or is Steve Thompson going to stay right behind that 8-2 car? He's going to try to make the pass as they come back around. He's making the look. He's making the look. Oh, this could be this. I was old. I cannot believe it. But it is. <laughs> Under the cover of anonymity, Steve Thompson has won this goddamn auto race here at the Crocodile Mile. I and believe. it is. I believe. Oh, my God. Jeff Shanice missing my damn points. That looks to be accurate. Jeff Shanice. Jeff Gordon, the horse. The Iron Jeffs are down to one car in the playoff field as these cars move their way around this track. As they go ahead and they get themselves back into the pits. What a goddamn auto race, y'all. It has been Paul Alcohol. Look at that. Paul Alcohol has made his way into the second round. Would what a day. It? What a day. What, what movements. Day. <laughs> so many movements to talk about in this race, in this goddamn auto race. <coughs> but, wow, Kevin Boner-Pillman has saved his spot as we are seeing the dust is settling figuratively <coughs> and literally as we go ahead and give our congratulations to our race winner, Steve Thompson in the number 17. We buy drugs.gov car. He is the winner of 300 miles of failure piles. It's a bit of a uh, duality of man sort of thing. Steve Thompson wins it, wins the race for ATF Bureau, but their uh, their defending champion Joe John Winchester in that other car, that four to seven car, eliminated from playoff contention. And let's take a look at the rest of the top ten. Boo with Jessup at number two spot. Paul Walker third place. Great finishes for them. Nikolai the Soviet driving Baron Bobrovsky. <laughs> Pair of Russians in the top five. Great finishes for both of them. El Matador Toto Rosanna in sixth. He led the most laps of this race. Florio Blandretti didn't say his name much in that Blenzoil 22 That's car. Right. He finished seventh. That's Bucket right. It's a great day for Mario Andretti. Great finish for Bucket Dushan as well in eighth place. Triple X Macklin, we were loud in that 13-year-old. He finishes ninth place. Jean-Paul Henri rounds up, rounds out the top 
10, another playoff driver. What a day it has been. Well, let's see what we all need to know. Let's take a look at how the standings are shaping up. The winner, the official winner of Fender Miles of Failure Piles. Well, it is, in fact, Steve Thompson. Again, under the under the, the guise of anonymity, he is your winner in that number 17, WeBuyDrugs.gov car. And let's see how our playoff fields start as we start the second round. And there you see it. Dushan at the top. Shanice, Vaspulver, Winchester, and the horse. All eliminated from playoff contention. The driver standings, that's the general points. And we're seeing that. And now, of course, there's going to be of the of the eliminated drivers, they are going to eventually battle for fifth. So everybody's points are going to get readjusted. So they are battling for ultimately fifth place by the end of the season. The Jeff Shanice is now going to be part of that battle with the other three drivers. And we see the rest of the field as it happens. We're going to be back in just a little over a week's time. October 28th, Thursday night, Diddler Cup race. And we're going to be back with the whole lot of bunch of bagel 300. That's a whole lot of bunch of bagel. That's a whole lot of bunch of bagel. As we make our return to Langhorn, Pennsylvania, as we visit those two pit road officials from the Stone Mountain Race Memorial Speedway. That's uh, That's been abbreviated on the screen. That is those two pit road officials from the Stone Mountain Race Memorial Speedway in Langhorn, Pennsylvania for the whole lot of bunch of bagel 300. Y'all, that is a trip of a race. That is going to kick off the second round of the playoffs, 12 cars. Dushan, Tanaka, Van Buren, Henri, Pastor Chavez, Thibodeau, Giacomo, Walker, Topoff, Blood, Boner, Pillman, and Alcohol. That ain't just a shopping list. That is our playoff field, our 12 drivers for this Diddler Cup championship run. Seven races to go in this season. They just got to worry about the next three. Before we drop from 12 to 8. Boys, well, so then we got some re replays to go ahead. Shall we get ahead and get the replays? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, these are the replays. I missed the, the replays last week. We did not. Yeah, we, we had some uh, camera issues, but uh, I was unfortunately. In the yeah, yeah, well, the replays, were, the replays were you and those pro shots you had. We had our good start here. Kevin Boner, Pillman. And Richard Blood led these 32 cars to the green flag. And you can see all the dust kicking up there. Now let's see what happens on lap number two. Yeah, that was uh, that was basically Richard Blood taking the lead. So much dust. Absolutely. And here we go. Here is the longest reigning champion in Denver Cup races here, short history. His championships hopes Joe John Winchester. So good in the regular season, but he blends right back in front of the 8 1 car here. You're going to yep. see it. Oh, whack! And that is basically what spelled the end of the season. That got a team For. That's what spelled the end of the season. For Joe John Winchester. We're going to see it. This is from the 47 car. And oh, he gets spun around the hood, crumples up. And it is all done. Fat Daryl, another just rough season for Fat Daryl. Right. But another that is that. And there's, the wayside. Yep, this was during the first, uh, this was during the first, this was during the first, uh, the first uh, uh, caution and pit stops. And Jeff Gordon, the horse, gets run into by his own teammate, slid on the mud. If you makes like contact Jeff on with Jeff the action, get yourself a subscription at Only Jeffs. Yeah, Only Jeffs. There you go. Well, we're seeing this was uh, this was Richard Blood bringing the car into the pits. Went down a couple of uh, laps. He ultimately made it out of the out of the first round of the playoffs, but his race kind of came to a, a stop start. Then, lap 50, and we had a restart after our second caution, and Triple X Macklin. Led this race at lap number 50. Lex Mackin led the race for 26 laps of these 120. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good showing by the child. A literal child in that stock car. 
And our third restart of the day, out of the caution from Deborah and Debris on the track. Debris and Deborah. It was El Matador Toto Rosanna leading the most laps of the day. Getting an extra five bonus points, but lap 115. Steve Thompson led his first lap of this race. Good pit strategy from ATF Bureau. Bua Jessup was chasing him down, but it would ultimately be Steve Thompson winning this goddamn auto race. I can't believe it either. Steve Thompson with his Russian blurred out face has damn won this race. Now hang, hang on now, say that, that those are some those are some allegations, and that is some allegedly stuffs that we're talking about here. That is wellness uh, protection. Yeah, he is he is as far as I know, he is a dang American. He is a dang American as far as I'm That's as far right. as I'm no, aware. I mean, I mean like the Russian blur, like you the shops. Oh, oh, that's a Gaussian blur. A, a, a gushing? A, 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 a yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, oh, oh, you won't see some gushing. No, oh, no. you won't see some gushing. That's what that's I, that gushing is Lightning Lord Shepherd's middle name. I don't Besides like Lord. dating I don't like dating in Russia. The shipping costs too much. Yeah, that's fair enough. Well, we are gonna be back in just another What's that? Another uh, 10 days time. Thursday night. Thursday night diddling on the 28th. Same time for the whole lot of Bunch of Bagel 300. The second round of the playoffs get started. And then we're going to have ourselves some spooky scare at Halloween diddling on Sunday afternoon of the 31st. That's going to be the first and second of our second round three races. But let's get right to this one first. We're going to head back to those two pit road officials. From the Stone Mountain Race Memorial Speedway in Langhorn, Pennsylvania, which I believe, where did we? I mean, I'm gonna have to look up. We went there earlier this year, and I can't remember who exactly won that one, but uh, I'm gonna have to look that one up. I know we did, in fact, race there before this season. And that race was won by Smiley Van Vuren. That's right. On a race where we had a whole bunch of <clears throat> good racing. Smiley Van Vuren won there from the pole. Last time, it wasn't that easy as it sounds, but that was that's where we're going to be next week in just a little more than a week's time. We thank y'all for joining us as always. It has been a goddamn auto race. Oh, yeah, it's been an auto and race. And we will see you back here. For Beaumont Jenkins, for Lightning Lord Shivers, I am Chip Chapman. It's been a goddamn auto race. We'll see you next time from Langhorn, Pennsylvania. Good night. Ow! From the Okafinoka Swamp. Woo! Oh, my God. I have just ingested. I feel like I'm a fuel tank right now. I've ingested so much dirt and mud. Hey, um, they said here that about, about 50 people have been injured from blind rocks and free. Yeah. Yeah. What? The, what? They uh, cowards? Uh, yeah, that's right. What are they if, cowards? If you were hit by flying rocks and debris, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Yeah, just not for us. Hell, no. Hell, no. Hell, no. Hell, no.